Maybe you're in year 10, wondering when it is best to start revising for the GCSEs, or maybe you're in year 11, wondering if it's too late. Well, in this video, I'll be explaining what I think is the best time you should start revising. And of course, it's not as easy as just giving you a specific date to start, but in fact, there's loads of factors that you have to take in. For example, how much you should revise, how intense you should be revising, and exactly how long you're going to be revising for and how you're going to revise. So that's exactly what this video is about. Hi, my name is Newman Sami and I'm a GCSE student currently in year 11. School started and people are probably wondering when they should start getting serious about their revision. Speaking of seriousness, I've split this video into three parts, each depending on what intensity you should be revising in, and therefore I am going to call this the three studying stages. So let's just get straight into the first one. The first special step for getting good grades in exams is what I like to call relaxed revision. Homework actually falls under this category because when you're doing your homework, you are in a way indirectly revising. This should be started as soon as possible, but you should do it over a long period of time as consistently as possible because it's all about consolidating information over a long period of time rather than revising for something specific in the short run. For example, if you are transitioning from year 10 to year 11 in the summer holidays, you can actually just go over everything, maximum one hour's worth of revision each day because it's going to really help you in the long run. And this is basically what relaxed revision is. In this time of relaxed revision, you can go over videos for topics you find difficult, maybe even practice vocabulary for languages, or you can do coursework for subjects that have coursework. You can basically do anything at this stage of revision as long as you don't go over notes because that's quite a useless thing unless you're doing flashcards as you go because that way you are actively recalling the information. And I'll go over this in a bit more depth in another video in the future, but for now let's also, if you've just started year 10, make sure you go over everything day by day and review everything because it's really important to consolidate that information but make sure that your revision is relaxed and it's not too stressful because the point of this is just to manage your time effectively and not let yourself in the future get too stressed with all the amount of work. So if you go over everything now, you're really going to help yourself in the future. For example, if we did around 30 minutes worth of revision each day for around two months, if we compare this to someone who only starts revising for an exam the week before, they will not do as well as us because even if they do more revision, we have gone over the information over a longer period of time and therefore we're more likely to retain that information. It's actually scientifically proven that if you go over a material over a longer period of time, you'll retain it better. So don't just take my word on that, it is science. Also, it's perfectly fine if you miss a day or two of relaxed revision because this is about not getting yourself too stressed, that's why it's called relaxed revision. It's just a way to save yourself time in the future because if you space out the revision over a longer period of time, it doesn't seem as much, so that's why I recommend it over doing a lot of revision in a short amount of time. Also, this revision should be done before you get told of an exam coming because it's supposed to be a way to consolidate that information over time. So when you do get told of an exam coming in, for example, let's say a week, then you just can dedicate all that time to that one exam. And because you already know all the information from relaxed revision, it will just be much easier to revise. And at this point, when we do get told of an exam coming, we switch to our next form of revision which I like to call serious study. So next up is serious study and I suggest starting this revision as soon as you get told that an exam is coming up because once you do get told that an exam is coming you dedicate more time towards that specific exam rather than focusing on all your other subjects and doing relaxed revision so therefore you spend more time revising for that specific exam so I would say that it's best to start revising like this a week or so before your exam happens. To begin, I suggest starting off with looking at notes and videos to consolidate everything that you've learned already and anything that you don't fully understand because there's not really any point of learning stuff and memorising things if you don't actually understand them in the first place. Next, after that, make sure you set up some sort of active recall system to try and get all that information into your head. It's really important to do it this way because it's a much more effective and efficient way of studying. And I will make an additional video just to explain how and why it's a really great rate of revision. Lastly, make sure you do a few practice questions. This isn't that important when you're revising for small exams like these, but it's always nice to see exactly what you're doing well in or what you need a bit more work in. But apart from that, that is all you need to do. As soon as the exams finish, you go back into relaxed revision and continue consolidating everything that you've learnt. 
However, what about the end of year 10 exams or even the mock exams and GCSEs themselves? For those, we have our third and most intense form of revision. And I like to call this... The way to revise these exams is very similar to the serious study stage, but with a few changes. Firstly, you need to start much earlier, two to three weeks minimum, and make sure that you spend much more time practicing questions instead of looking over notes and videos and trying to understand everything, because by then you should actually know all the information. You need to spend as much time as you can memorizing until you feel that you know everything, then go straight to practice questions, because it's really, really important to practice as many exam questions as you can, because then you know exactly how the exam mark schemes work and exactly what you need to write for each exam. For example, for English, make sure you write loads of essays and get your teacher to mark them so you know exactly how to write all your essays and everything becomes much less scarier for you. But for subjects like math and sciences, you can easily just mark the exams yourself. The point is, it's one thing to actually know the information, but it's another thing to be able to apply it and uh, write the information in a way that the mark scheme wants you to write it because you could know everything but because you didn't mention the keywords they might not even give you the marks. The thing is I don't really understand how people say it just doesn't make sense to me in how someone can revise that long. So for me, the maximum amount of revision I would probably do every day is around four to five hours. I just can't do any more than that. I don't actually need to do any more because I spent all the year going over everything and doing relaxed revision, consolidating everything. The time that you spend doing relaxed revision every day can really add up and by the end of it, when the exams do come about, you spend much less time actually needing to revise, which is much better because you can still relax whilst everyone else is stressing about studying and things and trying to understand everything because they don't understand. I know that this three-stage system is a bit confusing so in plain words if you want to ask when you should actually start revising I would say start now but you don't actually have to do as much revision as you think so for example if you're starting year 10 right now make sure you go over everything and do a bit of relaxed revision each day depending on how close you are to exams you can slowly start scaling up the amount of revision you do and another really really important tip I suggest you do is that when you do have small exams coming up so for example an end of term exam make sure you make your revision Material just as if it were the actual GCSE exam because when the GCSEs do come about when everyone else is making revision material you can just use your already made revision material and it's just much easier and you save a lot of stress and a lot of time trust me it's a really great idea anyways that's it for the video make sure you like and subscribe if you want more videos and also tell me in the comments would you rather have all nines and one six or all sevens and eights i personally would have all nines and one six and i'll just pretend that six never happened for now though have a studious day and i'll see you again next time